Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteretEverything.info. Uh, on this quick little video, I'm going to show you how to uh, insert a point and to change how to change the point style and size. Now these are different than inserting a block or anything like that. This is if you just like a dot or a point. Uh, they can be used as markers. Uh, they can also be inserted uh, as points on a map or in locations. I'll show you what I mean right now. So to insert a point, uh, the quickest way is to type in point. As you can see on the bottom, it brings up the point command. You can type in point and hit enter. And there it asks you to specify a point. Here you can type in coordinates in x, y, z fashion. So if I'd like it to be at 200, comma, 200, comma, 0, that's x200, y200, z0. So you're going to hit enter and you can see hopefully this little dot right in the corner of the xy. You see it right there. See my little dot? So that's a default point. It's just a dot. You can use it as a marker or as a, a way to plan out uh, an object or a drawing. If you know coordinates of a bunch of points you can put them all out and then use snap which is the F3 button to turn that on or off to connect your polyline or line work to each of these points. It's a good way just to test out what something's going to look like or to lay out uh, a design based on points. Now to make them more visible or to change the style uh, you're going to bring up the point style uh, dialog box and to bring that up it's DDP type. That's D for dog D for dog, P for parrot, and then the word type. You can see it at the bottom of the screen there. DDP type. So I'm going to hit enter, and that brings up the point style dialog box. So here you can see our little dot on the left. It's just a dot. It's the default style. You can change it to any of these here. So we're going to go with the X in a circle. Now for point size, you can choose to to keep it as relative to screen, so that means it'll keep it the same size depending on whether you zoom in or zoom out. It'll be the same percentage of the screen. Uh, it's at 15 or 5 right now. I'm going to change it to 15. And then you see it's at 15%. And when you regen, it goes back to 15% again. So no matter what you zoom out, so see it got small there again. Type in regen to regenerate the window and it grows 15%. Um, to bring up that menu again, we're going to go back DDP type and hit enter. And we're going to use absolute units. So if you set it to 15 units, it's going to stay at that size no matter what. So you can type in regen and it's still the same size because it's 15 units across. Uh, there you go. That's how you use uh, points and insert a point in AutoCAD. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks.